everybody, this is Old Guy Gamer playing American Truck Sim. I'm trying to get over to this job. It's a $30,000 plus job. I just gotta see if I can get it. As a big old congratulations to me, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to my channel because we made it here on time to get the big $30,000 job. Well, I don't know what this thing is, but whatever it is, we're going to take it to Arizona. Let's get in the truck and get out of here. I got 12 hours and 37 minutes and this place is 11 hours and 47 minutes away so hopefully I do have a full tank gas I am almost fully rusted let's see if we can get it there in time well as long as we're driving let me just go ahead and fill you all in this is uh, Daisy she's a 1970 something Kenworth cab over um, she's my first truck that I've owned in this company. My company's called IK Freight. That's spelled I-C-A-Y Freight. And right now, we're just trying to make enough money to get this business off the ground. I did take out a loan to buy the truck. I've been making the payments on it. Uh, but I don't have enough money to buy another garage to expand or anything like that. So. I need to make some more money so I can expand the garage and then buy another truck and then hire another driver and then I'll officially be a fleet owner. Right now it's just me and this one truck and we're just trying to make some money so we can get bigger in a hurry. Plenty of room. Finally, we made it to the highway. We're off the city streets of LA. Let's head east. We'll get that cruise control set at about 58 or 59. We'll stay just under the radar of the CHP. And still be able to go as fast as we possibly can. Take advantage of this hill here. Get some speed up. Well, glad I took advantage of that downhill. Got me up the next hill pretty well. 12 noon, payment due. 1800 bucks. I think I made $10,000 yesterday, so we are in the black. You know, I was just sitting here doing the math in my head. I know that the garage expansion at my current garage cost $250,000. That brings me up from a one-spot garage to a three-spot garage. So basically I'm paying $250,000 for two additional garage bays. So I think what I'll do, and if I'm correct, I know it's what I'll do. I'm just going to go buy a whole different garage because I'd rather spend $250,000 on a brand new garage to get three spaces than spend the same $250,000 to expand my current garage and only get two spaces. So if those numbers hold true, looks like I'll be buying a garage as soon as I hit that $250,000 surplus mark where I can afford to gas up and buy the garage. Oh, come on. Well, 
hopefully I can just go right over this. Get off the off ramp and just go right back on the on ramp. Looks like that's what I might be able to do. Is that a hot air balloon festival or something? What is going on there? GP. Oh, speaking of GP. So here's what I think I'm going to do. It's Sunday at 6 o'clock. I've got three hours left for the trip. I can pull in here dog tired when it's dark but there's a chance that wherever I drop this trailer off at they might have a job for me to take but I won't be able to take it because I'm gonna have to sleep as soon as I take it so I think what I'm gonna do and I know I'm gonna do it but I I think it'll be better to sleep now take this thing in on Monday morning because it's not due until between Monday at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. I'll just sleep now take it in there in the morning then I'll be fully rested and if there's a job available to leave from where I'm dropping this off at I'll just be able to pick up that job and leave rather than have to go find a place to sleep so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna find myself a place to sleep I sure like my other profile better where I've got a bunch of drivers and Every five minutes or so, someone makes me some money. Park my Kenworth in front of the international dealership and get some sleep. Yeah, five in the morning. I was actually just driving for a long stretch there thinking about a book I read once. I can't remember the author's name, but the book was called Big Lake. And it was set out in this area. I think it was set more near Sholo, Arizona, where this stop we're making here is in Holbrook. Just Sholo's the next stop down the road, but the the book Big Lake was actually a pretty good book. It wasn't too long of a read, it wasn't too showy or you know extra. It's just a nice, good, simple story, and it was told well. It's fiction. It's uh I guess you could say it's in the police like investigation detective type genre so if you get a chance go check it out I'm not getting paid to say that it's just I followed the author on a couple of videos he did on YouTube and he mentioned his book so I read it and I liked it so go check it out Big Lake I can't remember the author's name it was Nick something I just can't remember his name and we are here at the Union Pacific Yard in Holbrook, Arizona. We'll see where they want this pig. Boy, oh boy. We're not exactly making this one easy. Serpentine this sucker around. Watch this. That's as far as she goes, folks. Oh, man. This is going to be a pain in the butt, probably. As soon as I think that trailer can go straight back and clear, I'm going to straighten it up. And then I got to go 
to the left. Right about now. Well, I might have to do one pull up. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it looks like I might have to do one pull up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do one pull up to get it perfect. I gotta be honest though, American Truck Sim makes this job a lot harder than it needs to be because if you were just close to getting this right, like when you're really dropping off a trailer at a yard, there's no green lines on the pavement. They're just gonna say, go park it parallel to that line over there and get it out of the way. I don't think they're gonna be too upset if it's exactly where they want it. It's just four feet shifted to the left. So. I could get it in the perfect spot where the green lines say with a pull up, but I don't think anybody was going to complain if it's left right here. So let's do another loan. Where is it? Uh, 100,000 is another 1,800. Let's do this. Yes. That's not even close. Almost scraping the belly of it. I'm like, why did I lose 200,000? Oh, I just bought a garage. That's why. Never mind. My bad. My poor math skills betrayed me there. I was like, I was at 555 a second ago. It's that $180,000 garage I forgot I bought. My bad. I was about to start yelling. And there was no need. That is all on me. We're going to get down here to Phoenix. We're going to drop this trailer off. I was kind of texting and driving at the same time. And I was looking for where the nearest Kenworth dealer is. Turns out it's in Phoenix. So... Isn't the internet wonderful? It tells you where all the pretend truck dealers are in a pretend driving game. So that you can pretend build your business on pretend money. In the easiest pretend way possible. Someone get out of someone's way and let's go. Come on! see you two trucks up there side by side going the same speed. Look at that Vista. Whoa. Boy, this video is taking me forever. I'm going on an hour and a half of driving. I'm trying to do a couple of jobs at this same sitting. And it is driving my buttocks insane. They're a barking. 
I know that's not a fart joke. Although it would be a pretty good one. This video would have been a lot faster if I hadn't picked up this load, but it is 13 grand. That makes my loan payments for a day or two. Yeah, two days worth of loan payments. 5,000 and 1,800, something like that. The more I pay them, the more I'll know what they are. Right now, I can't really remember. We are here at Kraft Heinz doing a drop off. Maybe I shouldn't even be trying to put it in the lines. It doesn't make you. As long as you're close, it gives it to you. Alright, let's do this. Get back up to Phoenix. Boy, this thing's twists and turns. It might as well be called Sidewinder Alley. Sidewinder Road. There we go. That's better. It's not an alley. Oh, he saw me coming. He's like, get out of the way. Oh god, gamer coming through. Go and smash my Subaru. Can I make it ahead of this truck and get over? Um, yes. Thomas Road? That road sounds awesome to live on. No jobs. I got my checkbook. And I'm shopping. Custom color. Blue. There we go. Uh, regular cab. 4x2. Little engine 10 speed. Tan 1 or tan 2? Let's do tan 2. That looks good. Tan two, blue, nothing, nothing. There we go. Let's do three of those. Buy another one. Let's do a purchase. Yeah, we are done. Let's get out of here. This fuel economy sucks. Per mile. Probably need to go sleep, huh? Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video. Um, made some money, took out a loan, bought a garage, bought three trucks, and hired three drivers. So. We're going to let them get settled in their new trucks and start working. And then we'll come back and check in on them to make sure they're all working the way we want them to. Till then, you guys go watch some more videos. I'll go play some more games. And I'll meet you back here next time. Bye.